Hi, in this video, we will talk about how to create a Gradle project in IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, so this is my IntelliJ IDEA. So in the left side, I have YouTube Maven project in our previous videos, one of our previous videos. I have shown you how to create a YouTube Maven project. So in the left side section, I have YouTube Maven project. So now if you want to create a new project, that is Gradle project, you need to go to file and then new and then project. Okay, then you will get the new project section. From here you can create. So for the first time, if you open your IntelliJ, so how it will looks like. So for that, go to the file, the close project, then the current project will close. And you can see that this is the screen, welcome screen you will get. Okay, the welcome screen, you will get something like this. And the right side you'll have your recently opened projects. If you do not want, you can directly click on this, remove, otherwise you can have here. Okay, so left side projects, something like customized plugin, something learn IntelliJ idea. The top section you have new project, open project or get from VCS, version control system. So I want to create a new project. So I can create a new project here. I can click on here. You see that the same dialogue we got, right? So new project, I want to name this project. I say YouTube Gradle project and the location is, I'm taking the default location. If you want, you can change the location where you want to create this project, but I'm sticking with the default location. So what the kind of project you are going to create, which language, for which language you are going to create this Gradle project. So just an example, I'm taking Java. So what is the build system you are going to take? Maven or Gradle, right? So well, this is the video for Gradle. So I'll select Gradle, okay? If you want Maven, you just click on this Maven, otherwise Gradle. So this is for Gradle. So once you click on Gradle, what is the Java version you are taking? I installed 11 in my machine, so it is taking 11. So let it be. And then Gradle DSL. So which language you, you use for this Gradle DSL? There are two options, Groovy or Kotlin. So according to your expertise, your choice, you can take. So I'm taking Groovy. And then you see advanced settings. When you expand this, you see group ID, artifact ID. So what is this group ID, artifact ID? Right, so if you go to Maven documents, right? They mentioned what is group ID. Group ID uniquely identifies your project across all projects. A group ID should follow the Java's package name rules. This means it starts with a reversed domain name of you control. For example, org.apache.mav. What is your actual domain you see? In the URL, maven.apache.org. Right, this is my URL or domain, maven.apache.org. But is this reversed domain name? Because of that, org.apache.maven, org.apache.maven, right. So what is the purpose of this? So once you're done with your project, if you're releasing, you know, if you're contributing to open source, whatever it is, if you're releasing. So then somebody has to use your effort at work. So how they will get this uh, project or work, what is jar files, whatever you call. So in the MVN repository, if I go to say name Java or some version, you see that group ID artifact ID here. Group ID artifact ID. With the help of this group ID, you can differentiate in the entire Maven repository as a unique project. Okay. And the artifact ID is, what is this artifact ID? Is the name of the jar without version. Jar means how you um, export your project, somebody has to use means it will be in the form of jar rate. So the moment when I use this serial name, then I'll get all the serial name related jar files into my project. The same way your project, project also comes in the form of jar. So that is jar without version, right? 
So then if you go here, so I'm not changing anything group ID or that example, but artifact ID, you need to use some, what it is saying in the lower case letters. Okay. So I say YouTube hyphen and the project name and artifact ID must be the same it is saying. So let me check YouTube. So it is not taking. So it is also not taking. So whether you need to change this one or this one. So let me take YouTube Gradle project and I'll change the name of this project to the same thing. Okay, now I do not have any error. So it went to the, sorry. Okay, you see same thing here and here. Now we provided the name, Java language, Gradle build system, Groovy is the, this build system language and a group ID, artifact ID, everything we provided. So it is not the same. Okay, now it is same. So then you just click on this create. So now it will open the IntelliJ and it will create the project for you. So it is building, downloading Gradle related information, all these things. In the left side, you see YouTube Gradle project is created. When you expand this, so it's still building. You need to see some, fo some more uh, folder structure. So we'll wait for that. So now it is done. It took uh, four to five minutes for the first time it seems. So I paused the video, now I got, you see that left side, you got more folder structures. Once that is done, you see in the green checkbox, YouTube Gradle project finished and build successful. So it took uh, three to four minutes, it seems. Now you see source main Java resources and then source test Java resources. So this folder structure, it will create by default. And apart from that, the main important thing is you see build.gradle file. You see in the left side, this is the file build dot. Close this, double click here, build dot Gradle. This is the main part of your Gradle project. This is the heart of your Gradle project. So all the configurations, everything you will do in this file only. You see dependencies, you'll have plugins. What is the repository we are going to use? All these things. You see group ID, org.example, right? So all these things can be done through this build dot Gradle file, this is very important in this. And the language which you are going to use here, that is what the Gradle DSL, we have seen that Groovy Kotlin. So which language you use here for the build file, that is what we selected there. So in this, we'll use Groovy language to write our build script. If you select Kotlin there, you can write Kotlin script here. Okay, that is the uh, option we selected there, okay. So you have created YouTube Gradle project. You, it will create, it created some folder structure, source main Java, source main resources, source test Java, source test resources. And this is settings, the, sorry, build.gradle file. And this is the important part in your Gradle project. Everything can be configured through this file, okay? This is how you need to create Gradle project in IntelliJ IDEA, okay? Uh, that's all in this video. Thank you.